good night. I'd like to come for a drink. You don't think <laughs> Thank you so much for driving me all this way. I don't know when I've been so grateful. No, good night. Good night. And it's got the cutest kitchen, Jen, with an open fireplace. Right here, see? Of course, the floors are old and they've got cracks in them so wide that you can just practically see right through them. <laughs> it used to be the garçonner, what they call the uh, oh, bachelor's house. Every plantation had one for overnight gentlemen callers. <laughs> well, Judd says that he feels so wicked taking a girl to the bachelor's house, and I told him that if he... Go on. It's such a pretty thought. I forgot what I was saying. You do forget things, don't you, Carol? I'm sorry about this afternoon. But I was upset about something. I'm not upset anymore. Please forgive me. Carol, I'm interested in you, and after all, I am fond of you and want you to be happy. And even though it hurts me terribly, I, I think we should talk about you and Judd. What about us? Oh, Carol, you're so good. It's hard for you to imagine that others aren't, well, as nice as you are. I'd like to prepare you, that's all, for anything you might hear about Judd. Eva, don't. Why, Jennifer, I think you found out how clever of you, and so quickly, too. You'll have to tell me how you knew, some other time, of course. What are you talking about? I'm talking about men. I know men, and I know Judd. You know your men. Any man's my man, if I want it that way. Not Judd. Judd's like other men, no better, no worse. Are you trying to tell me Judd's been carrying on some cheap affair I don't know about? Is that it? Ask him. Do you think I'll go running to him with something as stupid as this? Do you think I'll let you spoil things for us at the last minute? Ask him. No, I won't ask him. I won't go to him with your lies. I wouldn't lie to you about something as important as this. Well, then, if it's true, tell me who it is. Who do you think? Ask him. No. Philip's people are not afraid. Isn't that what your grandfather used to say? I've heard the children say it. Philip's people are not afraid. You're afraid. Carol. Don't let it do this to you. I'm not afraid. Eva. You've done a terrible thing. If you're not happy here, darling, you really should leave. I'll help you pack tomorrow, if I have time. I'm not leaving. Not now. Then you'd better be polite to me. And darling, turn off the lights when you come upstairs. Where's Carol? I've been phoning ever since she left my place. I waited up for her till about four and she didn't come home. She isn't in her room. I looked. She may be at the stables. She usually goes riding when she's upset about something. She's upset. We could see if her horse is gone. Take long. 
wrong she made me spell it out for i tried to tell her it meant nothing but she just looked at me that way she has i could have lied to her maybe i should have lied to her but i thought somehow to be better if i told her the truth she never said a word not a solitary mumbling breakfast this morning. It's about Carol. But I forgive you. Eva, listen to me. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. It's about Carol. Oh. She's dead, Eva. She's killed herself. Oh. 